Rockaby Road, the heart of Subiaco, or it used to be. Now the street is lined with vacant shop fronts with a total of nine on one block alone. Those stores that are left are feeling the effects. About four, four years ago, it was probably the peak and certainly it's been getting less and less, but noticeably less the last 12 months or so. With such high rental prices, stores such as this Taiwanese tea house would have to sell nearly 40 of their bubble teas purely to cover rent alone. Add on expenses such as wholesale purchasing and wages, and you can see how many businesses are struggling. And the strain isn't limited to Subiaco, with Bayview Terrace in Claremont and Cottesloe's Napoleon Street also in a slump. Consumers are instead turning to more accessible shopping centres where they aren't deterred by things like parking fees or poor weather. Nicholas Tokarch from placemaking group A Beautiful City says street maintenance, promotion and planning by local governments is the key to reviving high streets. All I could ask for retailers to do is to simply have a political voice which tries to commit their local government to spend more time and money um, on the main street area. Until then, local retailers are on their own.